Stop being violent. Oh, 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 shit. Oh, shit. Get out. Welcome back, y'all. It's Taser Tuesday again here at Shane's Dumb Criminals, and we got a good one. What's better than watching some jackass get administered 50,000 volts of Acrite? Watching a hippie ride the lightning. What's better than that? Watching a solve sit get the absolute shit zapped out of him. Luckily, we get to do all those things today. We're going to do this one a little bit bass backwards. Uh, I'm going to start off with the aftermath video that they posted. It's, it's a good way to meet the dummies beforehand, so you'll know exactly what kind of geniuses are involved in this. And then we'll get to the good stuff. Check it out. Peace. I go by Vince's. Blessings, blessings. I am Dez of Have I Tribe. And I am Sydney, and we are nomadic community builders. We have been traveling around the country, connecting with other leaders, organizations, and communities, working to support the evolution of our world. Today, we're going to share with you a situation we experienced this past week, which is a part of a much larger conversation we need to have in order for us to move forward as a collective. Recently, we had an intense experience with the cops. We were driving towards the East Coast. This guy sounds like he's doing a racist impression of a Native American from an old John Wayne movie. Liberal Kansas, which is where they stopped us. It started off as a traffic stop, but then later escalated into them shattering our window. Yo, you want to talk a little bit about your experience? <clears throat> My natural rights were violated as a living, breathing, blinking, sentient being. They denied any medical attention free phone calls, specific dietary needs. So I had to trade my food and resources for what I needed to do to connect with the outside world. And your booty. You traded that booty, didn't you? <laughs> you did. Due to the careless nature of the system, while Des was in jail, me and Sydney, we had to sleep in the van. Sydney and I... With a broken window. Look at what we gotta do, guys. Look at all this fucking glass. In the freezing cold in the parking lot of a Walmart for a couple of days. We started to reach out to our connections and to our resources to be able to fight this case and to transmute this traumatizing experience. In other words, we went to e begging and bumming because we don't have jobs and we refuse to get them. Someone please support us. Please, please, please. Fortunately, the people we reached out to, our community, was able to donate enough for us to fix the window and get a warm place to sleep for a couple of days. Those people are even dumber than the hippies. However, this situation has set us back from the work that we are doing. And we're in more need to help us pay for a lawyer, for shelter, for travel expenses, food, etc. We created a GoFundMe for this reason. If you would like to help in the short term, consider donating. But if you'd like to help us long term and work with us. Help us fill out job applications because reading is really hard. We're going to share our projects and how you could help us. The main project we've been working on is called the Infinity Nexus, a network hub for evolutionary individuals, communities, and organizations. Prestige worldwide all aiming to cold cultivate a sustainable regenerative ecosystem through curriculums workshops retreats events gatherings etc every archetype and role will be needed to help bring this vision into fruition we'll need content creators to help us document the whole journey graphic designers to help us create pitch decks farmers to help us grow our own food herbalists to help heal us investors that can help us acquire land in which we'll put in a community land trust because we do not believe in any one individual owning a piece of the earth we just want other people to pay for it whatever skill or passion you may have it can help us create a better world together one of the most recent and biggest events we've done is Soul Awakening, which is a conscious hip-hop festival under Awaken Productions, which is a node of the Infinity Nexus. We created this to give our people a space to reconnect to nature, community, and the essence of hip-hop. It was really intimate and influential, and we're working to create more spaces like this for our communities to come together. Lady, I thought you people were all about saving the trees, making them suffer through a bunch of SoundCloud rappers wandering around on a homemade stage is not the way to save them. You're putting them through misery. With that said, if you're interested in what we're doing and would like to join or support us, please visit the social medias and the links in the description below. Thank you for tuning in and hearing our story and supporting us. God bless your existence. Peace, y'all.
Okay, so now that we've heard what they have to say about it, let's see what actually happened. Why am I being pulled over? Step out, I'll tell you. No, um, we don't feel safe, man. Like, step out. What's the reason? What is the we reason for step being out. pulled over? I didn't do anything, sir. Yeah, you did. Step Your out. lights are on. Step that means out. it's an emergency. This is a traffic stop. Step out. This is a traffic stop. Step out. Dude, you're too high to recite the soft sit script. Give it up. What is sir, the reason for being pulled anything. over? Your lights are on, so that means it's an emergency, sir. Step out. Sorry. I'm Can, not telling you again. Would you please be able to uh, list your reason? Step out. You have to list your reason. We can't just you're get out. You're not the driver, okay? Step out of the truck. What is the reason for now. being pulled over? Because your van smells like a combination of patchouli, cat piss, and pizza onions. You need to get out of there and take a few breaths. You're not doing anything wrong. Step out. What is the reason for being pulled over? He doesn't have to step out. There's no step reason. Out, you have to explain why. This feels unsafe. This step feels out. unsafe. There's That's an order. You're not what, telling him why. There, there has to be a reason for detainment. Step out now. There has to be a reason for detainment. Step what out. is the reason? All you guys are going to go to jail. For what? Obstruct. Obstruct what? what? Step out now. Obstruct what? Step. You're stopped for 47 miles per hour and posted 30 miles per hour zone, right? That's a traffic infraction, therefore he has a violation of stop. Where was I going 47? How does speeding How does being warrant detainment? How does speeding warrant detainment? Because it's a traffic infraction. And a traffic stop is a detention. Just get out of the truck. So why am I getting detained? How does speeding am warrant I, detainment? Am I being detained? Yes. I'm why? Being detained? Yes. What's the reason? You have to state the reason for detainment. I told you. For what? Okay. You didn't tell Get us. Out. You did not tell us. Get out. What is the reason? Ma'am. You can't. You did not you. say a reason. Step you do out. have you to tell us. Hey, don't argue. I'm playing games with you. Look at you can see Get it. Get out of the truck. We're not. Uh, they're yeah. they're uh, threatening to hurt he, me already. Is he right. going to be detained if he You're, steps out? All of you are being detained. Why? Why? I told him. Why? For speeding. That, Detain? That is not You're going to detain not all of us for for him speeding? Yeah. Yes. Yes, they are. Interfering with this traffic stop, ma'am. No, I'm not. We're not. I'm you trying to get us clarity. Okay. You stopped us I'm trying illegally. to get clarity because you're threatening us. I don't need to be talking to you. Yeah, I'm, I'm awful. No, hey, hey. No. Fuck now. A lot of suspicious cuts in this one. He showed you his ID. Right here, United States of America. Get out of the passport. Truck. Get out. Don't, don't keep engaging with him. I'm showing him the proof. He's not listening. Hey, look hey, get hey, out of hey, the hey. truck. It's okay. Man. Can, please stop being violent. Oh, 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 shit. Oh, oh, shit. Get out. Oh, oh, shit. Get out. Oh, oh, don't fight him. Don't fight him. Don't fight him. Oh, shit. Get out of the car. Don't fight him. Oh. You're under arrest, man. Get out. What do please, I do don't please don't hurt him. Please don't hurt him. He doesn't remember much of the soft sit script, but he remembers the injury part. Notice there was another one of those suspicious cuts right before Sergeant Sparky showed up. Interesting. He wants to drive around so you can identify him. He's not identifying. He has his ID right here. His what, passport was there. What are you reaching for? Why? My ID. Why? Why? Mine too. In a second, probably yeah. Why? Because you guys are all being detained right now. Why? For Why what? are we being hey, detained? We weren't driving. Yeah. We yeah. were not driving. Okay. So why would we be detained? I'm gonna find out what you guys okay. Am I being detained? Yes, you are. Stay because back why? Because you're gonna run a canine around the vehicle for three years from now. Means you guys get out of the vehicle. I'd bet next month's YouTube check that there's a jar in that van with a turd in it. Got it? Be okay. Sit down. I'm telling you, sit on the ground.
I'm glad they cut out the part to where the canine threw up all over the place because the van smelled so bad. I gotta say, that was one of the more satisfying videos I've seen. That's all I got for him. Like, subscribe, comment. We'll see you on the next one.